back to easy tutorials in the last lecture we were seeing singly circular linked list uh, introduction part creation display and search in this video we will be seeing insertion we will be seeing insertion at the beginning middle and end of a singly circular linked list so we shall start as usual we shall compare linear linked list and circular linked list so that it will be easy for you so in uh, linear linked list uh, how will you insert a new node at the beginning first you will create a new node name n so you can have any name we here we have n so the first task ends next part you will write the heads address then you will make a, a connection will be made so the head will become the second node and new node will become the first node so head should always point to the first node so we will make n as head so these are the two tasks you will do after uh, creating new node in the uh, singly linear linked list in the singly circular linked list what we have to do we have one extra task because here the last node is null so you need not worry whereas in circular linked list the last node's next part is head so if you are making a modification here you should uh, make this to point as new node's address so head is the second node now so if you are inserting a new node at the beginning here the address should be updated this is an extra task so first what you have to do you have to have a pointer p it will start at head you should um, move the pointer to the last node how you will do while p's next part is not equal to head you keep on move move uh, p to the next node once p's next part is head stop moving so you have to do this after doing that what you have to do p of next should be new node's address instead of head address it should be new node's address then you can make the connection so this is one extra task you have to do so our same code we will be following here here we are creating a new node uh, so i am initializing p to head i am creating a new node n n is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node uh, then i am entering the getting the information from the user scan of percentage t ambassador element uh, n of info is equal to element directly also you can write scan of percentage t ambassador n of info you can write in that way also so new node is created same coding for both thing there are only two tasks uh, n of next you will make it as head head is equal to n here also you have to do that n of next is equal to head head is equal to n before doing that what you have to do you have to move p to the last node so while p of next is not equal to head p is uh, equal to p of next if you are doing that one by one p will be moving uh, p will be traversing each node and then it will stand in the last node so while p of next is not equal to head p is equal to p of next after reaching the last node what you have to do p of next is equal to new node address you have to give so p in the p of next the old uh, first node that is head address will be that so now the new node is going to become the head because we are inserting the new node at the beginning so here p is next part you are filling with n address 5046 so p of next is equal to n then what we are doing then you can uh, make the connection with this so n is next is equal to head then head is uh, you are making n itself as head so n of next is equal to head head is equal to n so if you are doing that insertion at the beginning is o now insertion at the middle so we shall compare singly linear linked list and circular linked list insertion at the middle does not involve any last node or first node only the insertion takes place in the middle part so you don't have any change so what code you followed in the singly linear linked list the same code you can follow for insertion at the middle in the singly circular linked list you don't have any change then the third one insertion at the end so here in the end part you are doing insertion so surely you have some change so what is that change so you will be creating new node then what you will do the you will have a pointer p and you will make it to point to the last node same thing here will be doing but the condition will be uh, changing here as usual you are making the node uh, pointer p to uh, point at the last node of the list 
So this is the first task. Then what you'll do? P's next part you will write N's address. Then N's next will be null. Here same way P's next part you have to write N's address. But N's next part should have the hex address. That is the second change. So P of next is equal to N. For both the things P of next is equal to N. In a linear linked list N of next will be null. Here N of next should be head. Only this is the difference. So, so in the next lecture we will be uh, seeing deletion at the beginning middle and end stay tuned to easy tutorials do share these videos with your juniors and friends stay tuned to easy tutorials your valuable comments are always welcome thanks for watching